Which back? Oh no! He's down! Oh, count the seconds! Quickly remount! Get yourself sorted! His chains off! His chains off! Oh, nightmare scenario! It was quite a story, Brian. How did it begin? But to hell with this, I'm away, I'm away. And if anyone wants to join me, they can come. Well, they're holding back just for now. 43 seconds, 5K to go. Well, 30 seconds would be it, I think. Has he got the strength to do this alone? It's between 2009 till, till 11 was a shitty part of my, my career. Sorry for the words. Uh, Kaiser has sprung out here and gone for it. Then I think the last 7Ks I, I went alone. Immediately took like 20 seconds, which should be enough if you don't like uh, drop dead. Normally you can hold it. Yeah, this is a supreme effort by uh, Kaiser at the moment uh, because uh, he's gone alone. People still talk about it a lot, and it's, uh, it's in everybody's uh, in everybody's mind. Come on, Kaiser! For goodness' sake! It was signs at the side of the road. Kaiser did restring it. Is he going to crash? Get back on board. Restring the chain and bring home the victory here. Not only a good memory for me, but for a lot of people who saw it live on TV or afterwards. It's been a pretty big thing also in YouTube. Coming in towards the finish, he attacked the original breakaway and we thought, well, it was touch and go whether he would he would stay away, but it looked good for them in the, in the running. Kaiser has sprung out here, he's sprung in. Oh, here he is. He's gonna go under the two to go banner in a moment and he's gonna be in the bird seat because he's gonna hit that flamme rouge at one. Uh, going into the last kilometer, I, I knew I was normally safe they would sure they wouldn't catch me also the bunch couldn't catch me anymore so i was going for the win and then of course you have the crash uh, this looks very much like the day of amiga pharma and, and kaiser it absolutely does here is your switch back oh no he's down oh count the seconds quickly remount get yourself sorted his chains off his chains off oh nightmare scenario when he came into that corner he thought with the advantage he got it looked as if he was going to win, but when he came down in the corner, and it, it's a re his reaction to it, my memories is not just only Kaiser's performance. Looks, jumps on the bike, doesn't have the chains off. Right, chains off, off again, still no panic, tries to do it without getting his hands dirty, decides, right, I'm going to get my hands dirty, put it on. And the way he got picked himself up, he tried to put his chain on, and it didn't work for him. There's no panic at all. Paul well, sat next to me, there was this madman shouting and bawling and getting all excited. And I tried to remain as calm as Helio Kaiser and it just kind of unfolded in front of her eyes. Still no panic, you can just see nice and calm because he'd obviously looked and seen he's gone a few hundred metres, still looking to see where the, the others are. Jumps back on the bike. Then it's, it's important to stay calm, try to stay as calm as possible, get back on the bike. The chain was off, so I had to, to uh, bring the chain back on. It all took a few seconds, but actually not, not that long. Then I made the mistake of realizing, uh, I did realize afterwards, that it was Sainz at the side of the road and not Kaiser. And the shock to me when we got the heads up shot, and suddenly there was Kaiser running for the line. I think you were busy talking and I just exploded. Oh, I couldn't believe it. So it's going to be close. Oh. He has got about 50 meters or more. He could possibly still hang on. Come on, Kaiser, for goodness here. sake. It was sight at the side of the road. Kaiser did restring it. Is he going to crash? Get back on board. Restring the chain and bring home the victory here. You've got to pray for this, surely, everybody. The moment you panic, it's, I think it's over because then I think you block also, you kind of get back on the bike and start full gas. So the, as long as you can stay calm, some guys would throw their bike over the fence and then it's then it's all over but just keep fighting never give up and uh, yeah in the end you win here he comes side of the road he's still gonna watch it though the chargers are on to him right now with 300 to go i think it's gonna be a huge heartbreak here rabobank have busted themselves they're busy getting this train sorted out here uh. with the likes of kito behind pataki and these riders you thought he could, he could get caught here, and he kept on looking around as well, all the way up the, the long finishing straight. Yeah, it's going to be 
Renshaw for them. Oh, and Pataki goes over to the other side of the road. Oh, they're going to get caught here. He I'm listening to you and I've seen him and I was like, wow. He's going to get caught. Kaiser's going to get wound in. Then you don't know how big is your advantage. So it was just the last kilometer or 900 meters or what, le what, was, what was left. Uh, full, full gas. And so with just 100 meters to go, 50 to go now, count him, Holmes! A little bit headwind there, and uh, of course then you know they are coming. Scream him on, we're doing so! Ah, oh, he takes it! Joy for cycling fans globally! What an effort that was! And in the end, I win with maybe with like 20 meters or something. I absolutely love that! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing, I was there. I had to stand up and just see Kaiser coming in there. Commentary was incredible and they also made it more, even more heroic, heroic than, it, than, it, than it actually was. So, uh, yeah, it's still, still really nice to watch it. I tell you, if you've watched this live today, you, <laughs> I hope you fell off your seat, because I did. That was fabulous. It doesn't get more dramatic than that. It's such a, a nice person. But, true testament to a champion is the effort he puts into his team. And his team have got 70 wins this year. And a lot of them is due to the performance of Elio Kaiser. This, well done. Uh, he's going to get the biggest roar tonight at the hotel when he comes down for dinner. <laughs> uh, joy for cycling fans globally just about summed it up that day. And frankly, the relief for us was palpable and for Elio Kais, who went on to win, I think, Sports Personality of the Year in Belgium. But something that we ourselves will never forget. It was a privilege, I think, to be part of it. I think it's a really nice win and I'm really proud of that. Normally I work for the team, I don't win that much. And uh, when I have the chance of winning, like here or like, uh, like in the Giro, and you, uh, you do it, then it's something, yeah, something really special.